Hey, the bad girl's here. Yeah, bad girl, you hear all the people I fucked up out here. I just fucked up you, Nitro, Cupcake, 2 5 a blow, and 9 dumb scum. I'm guilty as charged, the king of New York. Keep it real, why you don't tell Richie, yo, Richie, you fucked up, man. I see you did it, J-Lo, that's fucked up. You need to mind your fucking faggot ass business. That's what you need to do, you bitch ass motherfucker. Mind your punky ass business. You not a man, yo. You not a man, yo. Why you don't tell your fucking, mind your business, faggot. I keep telling you, you, you need to get a, man, go ahead, so when you ain't, I ain't got time for you. You bye bye. I can't believe Bad Girl come out of nowhere after three hours and really feel that him and Nine Dumb Scum are a battle. <laughs> Some tough guys, huh? Some bad boys. <laughs> you ready now? I wouldn't have them eating the bullshit. Don't be out here. I don't even be out here like that, but I know what time it is, man. I ain't got to be an African with a fucking uh, trench coat full of watches to know what time it is. Stupid shit, man. I, I ain't understand that. I'm a motherfucker out here trying to breathe, man. A couple of people let them know, man, but you got some motherfuckers out here that just blind to the fact. Just 
with their hands up to the sky trying to block the sun. Yeah, well, until Craig, you don't fuck up my gun, you know, they ain't gonna realize it. But, you know, you know, Craig, he's MO. Craig, he's MO. Sooner or later, he's gonna fuck up, and they're gonna beef with him. You know, because Craig, he fucks up. Aki's M.O. is the bad boy started that beef a long time ago, and I told him he's never doing any of that. And, you know, I just told him, hey, you don't bring the bullshit, you won't have to eat your shit. That you, you got the beef, I'm the butcher. I ain't demonstrated nothing less, and won't demonstrate nothing less tomorrow neither. What a man, what a bullshit, lies, man. Yeah. Yeah, and it's fucked up, because again, the motherfucker don't come to work, and he a fiend, man. He a dope fiend. That's it. I'm not the one that sound like a dope fiend fucked up on dope snorting behind that mic, bad girl. <laughs> he shit in his hands. How many people fucking gave him money to order shit for them? He goes and tries to fucking modify this shit and fuck this shit up. Maybe one or two get away because he probably didn't even do shit. <laughs> I heard a couple of people say he didn't even take the fucking radio. He played it off because the radio's already come set up. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know, things can't be that bad in Brooklyn where they need a junkie to do work for the radio. Well, now it's over. What you talking? They got a tech out here saying, uh, too much yayo, too much yayo, Dabby and give me more. Not for me. Yep, and if they don't do a red hook, man, they go to fucking Sam. They go to Sam. Delta Electronics, a real fucking shop. They don't real fucking technician, license. You fucking get guarantee on your work. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's fucking bullshit. A lot of these motherfuckers, they don't want to pay Sam, yo. Yeah? And Sam will tell you, Sam is not unfair. He's going to charge you the, the price of the, the, the parts or whatever the fuck. And he's going to charge you $70 for labor. Just add $70 to whatever other parts you need. He don't beat nobody in the head. He does everybody the same way, the same deal. But, yo. Yeah, but Richard charges 50 or less plus the parts. So, you know, most of the time it's just 25 or $35 for the labor. Man, the man is running a business. He's running a business, you know what I'm saying? And it don't matter because he's living. Well, hold on. If I'm not running the business, then why is everybody out here crying about the people I do radio work for? How much work I do? Pay for the work, parts, you know, it don't matter. At least the convenience. You got somebody like Red Hook around. You know what he's doing, does his shit. You got Sam, you know. Yes, we got Red Hook, who don't know how to test a final with a voltmeter or a capacitor. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got, you you got a YouTube tech of not even a whole calendar year yet working on radios. <laughs> to take care of it. You know, you got me and he'll give you a break, man. He'll look out for you. You know what I'm saying? And he says anything goes wrong, he always says, just bring it back. And he'll take care of it. No charge. I don't see what's the, what's the problem. I walk into a shop, I see radios on the wall. I know that is a real store. Like, I don't care what's... What's the matter? What's the whole bullshit with this crackhead mother? Why would they even bother? Man, this shit is crazy. I mean, teachers don't mind. They want to fuck with that crackhead? Damn, yeah, they fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I tell you, just... I think they don't mess with me because they know after seven years, Richie does not smoke a drop of crack. <laughs> uh, but the crackheads out here swear he's their buddy. But to all these other people, man. Yeah, you know, they see him where he is. Motherfuckers helped him out. Man, everybody helped him out. Big man, Jigolo, I mean, the list goes on and on. He fucked up on everybody. Now, now, what did Big Man ever do to help me out? He bought me a, 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 a dollar chicken sandwich one time? And what did Jigolo do? <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Tito, you think they were gonna be the one to transport that crackhead to that key down? Y'all be the one responsible for bringing him up on the site, rolling in the car with a stank ass motherfucker like that. They weren't gonna be responsible for that shit. Not only that, yeah, man, ain't nobody gonna be responsible. They were, I heard motherfuckers was there to give that boy a nice meal. <laughs>
and me into something nice and woody. <laughs> he heard, he heard. You mean he wasn't there? He wasn't one of them? Yeah, that's not quite his crowd, man. People out there, they come out there, they, they come out clean cut, you know, they, they come out, they dress to impress each other and shit, you know, they got their jewelry on, they got their mobiles and shit. What crack you gonna do, show up with one shoe mismatching the other and a fucking shopping cart with a nine foot whip and a car? Alright, so he said it's all about keeping up with the Joneses. And like I said, I'm not the one to be fucking, yo, 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 don't fuck with this crack. Well, hey, you would have wanted me for two and a half years so you stepped on my sidewalk one time and then your whole flip stayed. The bad boy turned into a bad girl after my first transmission on Utica Avenue. And all your boys told you so. <laughs> oh, so you're a bad boy, huh? Man, I am. Uh, you know, what do you, man? If you like fucking with him, fuck with him, that's all. But just, you know, fair warning, man. Guys, I confess, I'm doing all this piping and binging with that man. If you don't notice by now, I really can't help you out. These motherfuckers, they so spiteful. They want to be, they want to be so spiteful. Yes, yes, they do bite their tongue to spite their face a lot. But hey, man, that just has to do with their baby mama's drama and their constant bullshit that I'm making them eat. Man, you've been fucking with the losing team. Now it's time for you to come up on the bullshit. Yeah, I, you know, hey, you know, like I said, man, we got out here to tell people who to fucking talk to, who they can talk to. Listen to him snorting and yawning. Don't fuck with this guy. You fuck with him, you're going to get this shit. We're not telling you. Go to Sam, go to Red. Don't go to this crap. We're not out here telling <laughs> you. got me tired. Yeah, I'll be the first one. Yeah, there was a time I was out here and Cracky used to say, what's up? Fucking record and make a video game and me talk and skip. I made 24-7 and I just got tired. I said, yo, let me tell you something, uh, Richie. <laughs> Listen, I don't care if you record me, you know, talk and skip. I don't need you to fucking record me to tell me or play a recording. If I'm doing skip, I already did it. I don't need to hear it. I don't need anybody to record me. I never asked him to record. And he got bent out of shape. Then when he found out, we found Wow, man. I don't know, man. He, he Every time he talks about seven years ago, there's always more made-up stuff, more detail, and more shit that never happened. He still tries to inflate himself. Some bad boy, huh? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. He just kept fucking up, fucking up, and dissing people. You know, if he could say one paragraph without saying well, the word fucking every sentence, he'd be all right. Motherfucker, find him a place. Chunky, derelict. <laughs> What kind of motherfucker is this nigga? Helped him out. Got him out from the street. You know what I'm saying? And he shit tell the dude the fuck. Come on, man. And that's the story of his life. And that, yo, Super Bowl, we out of here, man. I ain't gonna tie it up, man. But, hey, that motherfucker is a trip, man. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a couple of cats out here that keep it real and they got their toes on the ground. channel to suck my dick for 20 minutes, cry and run. Oh well, so much for that. The king of New York City. The man with the master plan, the Midas touch, the knowledge and the know-how. Sound king, baby. Yes, sir. I am the man with the master plan. And the modest touch. Too many imitators, too many instigators, not enough initiators. 
and only one in Oveda cranking him out shadow like that. The King, Richie Rossi, one through seven.